everyone today i'll be talking about how to mount a gopro or any other action camera on your motorcycle helmet to complete your moto vlogging setup so the helmet that i have is the hjc dsx01 it's an adventure touring helmet with these sort of helmets the mounting position changes a bit as you can see on this helmet i cannot mount the camera on the front this front area does not have any plane surface where i can place the mount so what i had to do was find a mounting position on the side or on the top mounting the action camera on the top is not a good way of motor vlogging because all the wind just passes over this helmet and the camera may tend to be a little unstable when you are riding fast so you are only left with two options one on the left side and one on the right side so i chose this option on the right side where i decided to mount my camera so let's talk about what all you need to mount your action camera on the helmet so first of all you will be needing a mount it should be a curved one or a flat one depending on the type of surface that you have on the side on the side it would be mostly a curved surface so that's why i have used the curved mount with this 3m tape the second thing that you will need is a combination of mounts why i say a combination because you would need to position the camera in the front in front of you rather than having it on the side so if you mount the camera on the left without using some extensions that i'll be talking about here all your footage will not be centered so you want the instrument cluster of your motorcycle to come in the center of the frame when you are creating a video so what i have used here is a curved mount as you can see this one this one this curved mount which you can easily get from amazon and a couple of standard mounts so that the camera comes in the ideal position i'll show you how i mount it next of course you would need a gopro camera or any other action camera i am using the hero 7 black here then you would need the gopro mic adapter which i have put in this ulanzi housing the best thing about this sort of housing is that the mic adapter would not keep hanging on the right or left of your helmet which was the case earlier when you were vlogging with a gopro right so just put this adapter directly in this housing you have the type c cable protruding from here place the camera here in the housing you have this sleek little cover back cover which gives you access to the screen without any additional film and just shut it you would hear this click sound and that's it you all all ready the camera with the mic adapter is placed in a single housing that's why i would recommend you to get this ulanzi housing i'll be placing a link for this one the amazon link in the description box below next you would need a trs to trrs converter this is a small cable again the link for this would be in the description box so why do i need this trs to trrs cable because i am using the road smart lav microphone which is already been placed inside my helmet so you need to attach one side of the trs to trrs converter with the microphone and the other side goes directly into the hero 7 mic adapter here so that's how the connection to the microphone is made so one thing that you would need to really think about is what combination of mounts that you would need to put so that the camera comes a little towards the center i am using a curved mount here that goes along the curvature of the helmet and some standard mounts that you would get with any action camera to get this sort of a setup now with respect to mounting once you create this mount you just need to attach it place this gopro housing the ulanzi gopro housing on the front and we are done so let me show you how i have installed the road smart level ear microphone inside my helmet so first thing that you would need to do is of course remove the side liner uh then you would have this big cable that you can just stuff it somewhere inside the liner keep the microphone out so i have used a small piece of cello tape to keep this microphone in place here and of course there is the output of the mic so let me just place it and show you how it looks
once you have placed this camera on this mount all you need to do is plug in this cable to the to the GoPro mic adapter and you are all set that's it that's my motor vlogging setup I switched to the Hero 7 Black from the SJ7 Star which I was using for two years why I did that I wanted an action camera which could support charging while you are motor vlogging although the SJ7 Star is a good camera the video quality is quite good but the only issue that I was having with the SJ7 Star was it did not support charging while motor vlogging it had only one port which could be used either to connect a microphone or to charge the action camera with the Hero 7 Black or with any other GoPro camera you get this mic adapter which is a separate investment I must agree but you get this option of two ports one port where the mic adapter goes and the second port is a type C port where you can put in your any type C cable and maybe connect it to a power bank that you're carrying while touring or connect it to the dual USB port if you have it on your motorcycle so you would not have to worry about changing batteries again and again you would be secured for the entire road trip I have used this complete setup only once and I did that while commuting to office today and I tried to test out the audio quality of the Rode Smart Levelier microphone when connected to the Hero 7 Black so here is the video for you and enjoy this beautiful ride that I have to office from my home it's an expressway and I am one of those few lucky people who gets to ride on an expressway while commuting to office here you go today is the first time that I have set up my GoPro Hero 7 camera on my helmet so this will be my new motor vlogging setup going forwards I am right now riding at about 100 105 kmph on the Noida Greater Noida Expressway with my visor down on the helmet I think the voice quality is pretty good right now hundred and thirty one forty one forty five I hope the audio right now is decent enough so guys this is my daily ride to office going from Greater Noida to my office in Noida what a beautiful ride it is that's why I am not very motivated by the idea of a Sunday ride because if I have to travel to office it becomes a ride in itself I just need to cream across this Noida Greater Noida Expressway and have a lot of fun and trust me all those people living in Delhi and CR come to this expressway to have all this fun which I can have on a daily basis if I decide to take my motorcycle to my office 150 so I hope I have ridden the motorcycle fast enough to see if the wind noise really causes an issue so the resolution that I am using right now for the video settings is 2.7k with a 60 frame per second and the hyper smooth or the video stabilization on I think that should be a big factor to crop out any sort of wind vibrations that jolt the camera mounts on my helmet so this is a good time to also test out the low light video capabilities of the Hero 7 right now it's almost 720 almost the twilight time and I think the video quality coming out is pretty decent for an action camera let's now try to test out the time wrap feature I'll just stop on the side and see what sort of a time wrap I can record at this time of the day so that's it from my side I hope you like this short video do let me know if you have any questions regarding this motor vlogging setup all the links to all the items that I have used are placed in the description box but if you still have any questions I'll be happy to answer them that's it from me now 
टिल द नेक्स्ट वन लव पीस एंड स्ट्रेंथ बाय